Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to show you how to put recapture fields inside of your Django forms. So the reason why this is important is because if you have any forms in your app that are available to the public, like a login form or a register form or like a newsletter sign up form, uh, you have the possibility of running into issues with bots. So bots will automatically fill out your form and just do this over and over again and pollute your database and cause you problems. So the recapture field is designed to stop bots from filling out your forms. So if that's a problem that you have or it's a problem that you want to prevent, then this video is for you. It's all pretty easy to get set up. I'm going to convert this form here to a form that has recapture fields and you'll see exactly how easy it is. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing that needs to be done is we have to go to the recapture console. So I just Googled Google recapture and it's the first link here and then go to admin console at the top. And then here you wanna put a label. So for this label, I'll say first example. And then for the type, you have version three and version two. So the difference between these is version three will try to create a score for each user that gets to your page. And this happens in the background. And if the score is higher than a certain number, then you can be sure that this person's not a bot. So basically the idea is a score of one means that this person is 100% human and a score of zero is this is 100% a bot. So a normal score would be something like 0.8 or 0.9, right? That means like it's a human, but if you get like a 0.1 or a 0.2, then maybe it's a bot. So version three will kind of create that score in the background and then it's up to you to decide if you wanna let the user continue based off that score. The other is the recapture version two, which is much more visible. So you have a few options and I'm going to go with the I'm not a robot checkbox. So this is the default in the library that I'm going to use, but of course you can change it to version three. So I'll start with this version two because this one is the one that we can see and it's probably the one that you're most familiar with. You click on the checkbox and if for some reason it's not satisfied that you're human, you'll have to kind of select the images that match whatever it says. So like uh, select all the street signs or select all the bicycles, stuff like that, okay? And then you have the add domains. So because I'm doing this on my local machine, it's going to be 127001. And then I'll just accept the terms of service. I don't need to send alerts and I'll just hit submit. And it's going to give me these keys. So I'll leave this here and I'll come back to this in a moment. Now I wanna go over to the Django recapture page and I am going to install it and I'm going to set up the settings, right? So I have the public key and the private key here. So what I'll do is I'll copy these and I'll put them into my settings.py because I already have this Django app running that uh, just displays a form without a recapture. So I'll go to example here, actually recapture example, and then settings and just at the bottom, I'll put the uh, recapture stuff here and I'll go back to the dashboard and I'll just copy the values and just place them in the strings. Okay, so that's it for version two. For version three, there is another setting that you can have, but I'll talk about that when I get to that point. Now let's go ahead and install the library. So let me go back to the documentation. And we see here the install is right here. So pip install Django recapture. I'll copy that and I'll just paste it in here and run it. Okay, so that's installed, it's pretty fast. And then I just need to add CAPTCHA to my installed apps. So I'll just scroll up to installed apps. And after my example app, I will put CAPTCHA. And that's it, so now it's ready to use. So now let me start my app and just show you what I have so far. If I go over to this page, I just have a form. It has two fields, uh, one is for name and one's for email. I didn't put any labels because it's only two fields, but you could of course add labels and it has a submit button. And right now this doesn't do anything, but if I go back to the code and go to the views.py, I'll see my function here. So I, I'm instantiating the form, passing it to the context for this view and just rendering it. And I have the form here, which is just name and email. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna change about this form is I want to bring in the recapture field. So to do that, I need to import a recapture field from the library that I just installed. So it's from captcha.fields, import re, 
CAPTCHA field. So capital R, capital C, and capital F. And then for the field itself, I can do something like CAPTCHA equals uh, recaptcha field and just instantiate it like that. It saves. And then inside of my template, let's see, templates and then uh, index.html. I just need to make sure that this recaptcha field is there. So form.captcha. And now if I go back to my running app and just reload the page, we now see that the recaptcha field is appearing and I can click on it and it says that I'm not a robot because the check is there. Now, of course, I can't submit this yet because I don't have any processing in my view, but as you can see, it's this easy to get the field itself to show up. So let's go back to the code and let's just modify my view to support this. Okay, so this is for the get request. So what I'll do is I'll put an if statement for the request, method equals posts, which means when the form is submitted. And I'll instantiate another form with the actual request data. So requests.posts. And then I'll put an if block here. So if a form is valid, I'll just print uh, valid. And if it's not valid, I'll print uh, invalid. Okay, so I'll be able to see this in my terminal. And then also what I can do is I can print out the uh, CAPTCHA information. So it's not gonna be anything that you can do anything with, but I can print it out. So I'm going to print out the clean data for the CAPTCHA field. So we'll just put that in the valid case. And then also what I can do is I can just redirect back to this page. Uh, so return, render, no, I want redirect. And I just wanna come back to the index. So let me import redirect here. Let me just make sure my URL is set up so I can redirect to index and it is. So I have a name index there. And I just wanna come back here if it's valid. If it's invalid, I'm going to print invalid. And later I'll be able to display the form errors in the form. And then for the other form that I have down here, I'll just put an else. So this will happen in the case of a get request. And then the context stuff will be the same. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So we see the verification expired because I restarted the server. I'll refresh the page. And I'll just put Anthony and Anthony at um, prettyprintit.com. If I hit submit, and go back here, we see it's invalid. And the reason why it's invalid is because I didn't check the recapture box. So if I go back and do that now and hit submit, now it redirects, it says valid. And then we see this information from the recapture field and it just displays that. So not much you can do with that, but as you can see, it's there and it's available for you. And if you wanted to display these errors on the front end, what you can do is you can just add them like any other field. So what I can do is I can say uh, for error in form.captcha.errors. And then I can end the for loop down here. And then I can just print like paragraph tags with the error message. And this works just like any other field. So let's try this again. I'll refresh the page. And then I'll try filling out the form without clicking the check mark again. And then we see this field is required. And then once I check it and hit submit, it submits successfully and it redirects back to the page and it will allow me to submit again. So that's the version two, the checkbox version. Now, if you wanna implement version three, it's a little bit different. So let me go back to forms.py. And what I want to do is I want to import a widget. So from captcha.widgets, import re, CAPTCHA v3, and then the widget here. So widget equals recaptcha version three that I just imported. So I'll save that. And I can't quite run this yet because if I refresh, I get an issue with the, the setup that I have. So Anthony and then Anthony at prettyprinted.com and then submit. And then we see this field is required, but like what field is it? Because there's nothing there. So let me go back to the dashboard 
and go to settings. Actually, I want to go to the main dashboard and then I want to create a new one. And we'll say a uh, second example. And this one is going to be uh, version three. And then same thing with the 127001. Of course, when you deploy this somewhere, it needs to be the domain that you're deployed on. I'll accept the terms and then I won't send alerts. And then I have a new pair of keys. So I'll copy this one and I'll go to settings.py. And how can I do this? You know what, I'll duplicate them and then I'll put the value in the second one. And just make sure that this is correct. Okay, it looks good. So it's gonna overwrite the originals. Now, if I go back and refresh the page and I need to reload it completely. Now, if I look in the lower right-hand corner, I see this protected by recapture here and it's in the background. So if I do Anthony and submit, it gets redirected. I see here it's valid and I get the code here from the valid uh, CAPTCHA. And like I was saying earlier, with this version three, it creates a score. So what I can do is I can go to settings.py and I can change the minimum score that will allow the user to continue. So to do this, you can add recaptcha required score. And by default, I believe it's 0.5. So what I'll do is I'll change it to 0.99. And save and then reload the page and now try filling out this form again and hit submit. And we see error verifying recapture, please try again. And if I look down here, we see recapture validation failed due to its score of 0.9 being lower than the required amount. So it gave me a 0.9 for my score, which means it's pretty confident that I'm a human. But since I put my minimum score as 0.99, it failed because 0.9 is lower than 0.99. So obviously you wouldn't want a score this high. Um, I think the default is probably fine, but if you find that you're having problems with your forms, then you can raise this number if you're using version three. So that's basically everything that I want to show you in this video. Uh, it's pretty straightforward to get this set up. And if you're having a problem, like I said at the beginning with like bots filling out your forms, then this may be a good solution for you in your Django app. So if you have any questions on anything I've done in this video, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.